Hey there, Martin here from Schildfahrer Potsdam. And with this series, I want to present you an introduction into the second Assalto of Aquila Marozzo. And personally, I think this one is even better than the first one to start with, actually, because it combines, like Marozzo says, the wide play with narrow play and interspersing some strette of the third Assalto as possible here as well. Okay, and she makes like a little anecdote about two fences, uh, one just learning the white play and the other one learning the white and the narrow play and the, uh, and the presses so or the grips and the wrestling motions. And the second one will push and basically hunt and chase the opponent through the whole fence, uh, through the whole fencing hall. Okay, so it's really an advantage if you can employ these strata, these close plays. And just to recap, okay, in the first assault we did the white play and that means we are basically trying to strike our opponent um, by provoking them to take tempi that are not really wise, okay? So one prime example would be we have lots of distance towards our opponent and we lure them in, okay, we invite them to make an attack that is too long and strike them in contra tempo. The most, um, the easiest option would be probably, and that you really know, is like the German Absetzen or in Morozzo it would be Guardia d'Entrare or maybe even Guardia di Faccia, which parries here on the inside and thrusts towards the opponent face, collecting their blade and thrusting them in the same time, okay? Another option in the white play would be to make them move using provocation. So if I faint and they take that feint seriously and they respond with a parrying motion and opening themselves up on the other side, then I can use that motion to strike them. Because in white play, we always want them to take motions, tempi, that are not threatening us so we can move safely in them and strike them in the meantime. Okay, now in the narrow play, what happens if we have an opponent that doesn't move wide, that parries really narrowly and tries to close the line as much as possible? Well, now we need to get into another kind of play. Maybe we can still make them move, right? Uh, I throw a cut towards the hands and they cover, okay? But they make a really small cover. They don't open the outside wide up. And even if I try inside, outside, they pair really narrowly. We can now still use that motion to gain into an advantageous position. And that's the idea of the second assalto. We use wide motions at the beginning and then going in the narrow play, the strata. We're covering their blade, gaining a physical advantage, employing our strong against their weak, using angle, momentum, and also still tempi towards our advantage, and then closing in until they don't have enough reaction time to react to our emotions anymore, and while we stay completely safe. That's at least the idea. Maybe we even get so close that we go into the strette, uh, from the strette into the presse, so the wrestling drips, right? And these are more um, described more in detail in the third assault. Okay, and the second assalto combines us. So we just need to keep this in mind. It usually starts from a wide play action, then goes into narrow, and sometimes even um, traverses into the presse. All right, so look out for these videos. Um, my plan is to record them all. Probably some parts will even take more than one video because especially the seventh, eighth, uh, ninth and tenth part, there are really lots of actions in there. So Morozzo really went all out. I think he just could have done a couple of more parts, but maybe he didn't want to exceed ten. So um, we'll have a really nice and detailed look at that. And if you want to support this project, you can head over to Patreon and get early access, of course. And you can also train with us uh, on a weekly basis. We do online training. And anyways, thank you for your support so much. And see you then. Ciao.